previously in Skyrim. I swear to Talos, if you guys don't stop it with this diatribe, every 30 seconds it seems like, I'm going to leave one of you behind. Lydia, it's probably going to be you. No offense. Still here. But I was planning on it anyways. Once we buy the house here, I was going to let you just right kind of hang you. out and, and guard the house. I replace you with a pet mud crab or something. I need to go satisfy my legal curiosity. I need to finish this deal with Nepos the Nose and the Force War. And let's be honest, it's probably going to result in me going to jail. And now. Okay, now I hope you won't hold it against me, but um, I just couldn't help myself. I bought a crab. But I mean, look at him. He's wearing armor. He's kind of cute. I just couldn't help myself. And Kelsomo had the deed. I just... I have things to study. What is it? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Just... Admiring my new pet. He's kind of cute. Anyways, now that I'm done impulse shopping, um, we have things to, to finish in this city so that we can move on and go do something more important, I hope. Although, I mean, I am trying to kind of solve a murder mystery. I suppose that's kind of important. But I think I've put off talking to those old men on the mountaintop a little too long. Yeah, I know. Random thoughts that they go through my head all the time. All the time. Because I never know if I'm doing the right thing or not. It's very frustrating. When you've got so much stuff to do, it's really, really hard to wrap your head around it all and actually try to come up with a plan of action. But anyways. I do believe I have a plan of action at the moment. Oh, hi. Sorry, didn't mean to get so close. Yeah, I do think I have a plan of action. And I think part of that plan of action requires me getting arrested. Because um, we still have this... I still have this thing. Um, where is it? Yeah, we, we have to find information about some guy named Nepos. Look, it's a big, long story. I already kind of told you about it. But... Dude died... I what? had to find information, yada yada. Would we you two stop bickering place. about that? I would be shamed into some God if I did such a also, thing. I really want to go check out that place down there. Because there's sorry. a guy inside you should be. who was asking for our help. Where is this compass marker taking me? Oh. Okay. Okay. So, we're just going to go in, we're going to say hi, we're going to figure out... Well, you, you again, you guys weren't here for it, but dude sent some guy to beat me up and I tell me to stop asking questions. And Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Something tells me you won't be back. saying that for much longer. So yeah, this guy sent some thug after me to tell me to stop quest asking questions, and nothing makes I me want to back. ask more questions than somebody telling me to stop. So we're going to go in, we're going to ask our questions, and we're going to politely leave. But just in case, have your weapons ready. Hello. I'm right behind you. I'm Excuse sorry to me. intrude. What's your business here? I, I had some questions for the owner of the house. Uh, who, who are you? If you must know, I'm the maid. And the master of the house is old and needs his rest. So if you don't have any business, leave. 
I've got your back. Huh? <laughs> um. Yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. Oh. Okay. Um, thank you. It's a very, very nice home you've got here, sir. Yes? I'm quite impressed. I'm sorry about my house. Hello. She's a little protective of me. Yeah. Now, what is it you want? I, I'm, I'm sorry to be calling so late. I don't mean to, to disturb your rest or anything. I just... I I'm wanted... sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective <coughs> of me. Yes, yes, now, I what understand. Is it you want? I, I was just kind of wondering why it is you sent a thug after me and told me to, you know, mind my own business. It, it's, it's a really hard thing for me, for me to do, but well, why? why? <coughs> ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Game? Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. Oh. I'm tired. You're one of them. So tired. I, I'm sorry. So who's behind all this? My king, Modernok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. Oh. Okay. Can you tell me more about Maddenock? He is the king in rags. A man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city. Directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine. A Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. I see. So this is about some really old grudge. So what's this about an uprising? Markarth and the Reach oh, are our apparently lands. I'm hungry. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. I see. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. So all of this is over a land dispute. And it never occurred to any of you to maybe negotiate? It just seems a little short-sighted to me. So why are you suddenly willing to tell me everything when before you wouldn't tell me if any, when nobody would give me answers about anything? My dear boy... What makes you think you're getting out of here alive? Ah. You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. And what exactly makes you think that I'm not getting out of here alive and can't handle myself? I brought back up for a reason. Well, it's been nice for the chat, then I guess it's time... To get this over with. I'm sorry, but you're not leaving. That, my friend, is where you are wrong. I am most definitely leaving here alive. And while my companions handle them, I am starving. It's time for a snack. How about an apple dumpling and a few baked potatoes? No? How about some soup? There we go. I honor my you never ancestors. stood a chance, my friend. You really should have re reconsidered your options here. Because I could have been an ally. Hey, look at that. A free house. Another free house. What is it with all these free houses? Okay. I grow guilt-ridden in my old age. So many of the young sent to their deaths, all in the name of the Forsworn, all in the name of Madanok, my king, who watches us from behind the iron bars of Sid the Mine. How long have I served you since the uprising against the Nords? 
Was there ever a time when all that violence hasn't overshadowed our destinies? What choice do I have but to do as I am instructed? Uh... Sounds like he, he didn't actually want to play the role that was given him. And I don't fully understand why he didn't just say no. I mean, I get it. When you're talking about power struggles like this, no isn't generally an answer that the leaders at the top want to hear. But the dude's literally in prison. What's he gonna do? Probably send assassins after you. I'm answering my own questions again. Why Why right do I even bother you. asking them in the first place when I already know the answers? But I mean, at some point the cycle's gotta end. And he said he's been doing this for 20 years. And at no point he didn't think that maybe to just, just say enough was enough? Like, he can... Like, the guy that's in jail can only control and influence so many people. Get rid of those. And then you can just kind of stop. Anyways, let's go finish this Forsworn right business. You. I have a very bad feeling about how this is going to go. See, when I left the Still city, here? I don't remember if I told you this or not, but, um, yeah. There's, there's a kid Still here. in the temple who died. The guards killed him. And I just kind of ran away screaming like a little girl. I might as well be a little girl for all the help I gave him. Anyways... I need to go confront the guards in the temple, I think. Pretty sure. What's my journal say? Yep. They say a big storm cloak murdered the High King with his voice shouted him apart. Oh, you mean using one of these shouts? Foos! No reaction, huh? Alright. Well, let's get this over with. I have a very distinct feeling, ladies, that I'm about to go to jail. So, uh... Here's hoping I'm wrong. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm going to jail. See, there's, there's the boy that I was telling you about. Dead on the altar. I'm, I'm surprised they've left him here for so long. It's been weeks. Did that guard just run past us? That is so weird. Oh well, let's get this conversation over with. We warned you, but you just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. I mean, you don't have to do that. So you're corrupt and Thonar is paying you. We have nice arrangement in this city, and we're not letting you get in the way. You have a problem with that? Take it up with Marinak. I'm sure the king in rags and his force one would love to meet you. Now you're coming with us. It's a life sentence in Sydney mine for you. All right, fine. I'm in no position to uh, to fight you, so I'll come quietly. You'll never see the sun again. You hear me? No one escapes Sydney mine. We'll see about that. No one. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sydney mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no rest in your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? Boy, that sounds, uh, so pleasant. But yes, I understand my role. Good. All right. Open her up. Now you, get down there. 
I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Ah, uh, I knew it. I knew this was gonna end with me in jail. I could really use a nap. All right, well, I guess I'll say hi to everyone. Let's start with the old guy on the ground. I Hello. I behind my daughter, Uale, when I was taken. Sorry to hear that. Hi. What are you in for, new blood? Uh, nothing. I'm, I'm innocent. Innocent? So was I, for the first one. The other murders were all me, though. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. Um, skooma? If you're asking, oh. that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madinak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkel the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkel the Beast. Why not? Madinak's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. Sounds interesting. Okay. W what's this about skooma? Bottles of moon sugar. Khajiit use it as a pick-me-up. A good way to pass the time. Prisoners smuggle the stuff in. Only currency we have down here. Ah, I see. So where are the guards? They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies, grab any ore we've mined, and beat down the troublemakers. So there are no guards. That's the only time when we get food, too. And if there's not enough ore mined up, we don't get any. Got it. So it's in my best interest to work hard. Or get in with the right people. So do you have a shiv? Small blade. Easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's That's face. That's not what I asked. But people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here, Grisvar has a spare. Grisvar. to part with it. Okay. I suppose I can go look for a shiv. Uh, so what are you in for? A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran. Joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. So is there... Why... Why the Forsworn? Because life was better under the old ways. No Nords and their laws. One day the Forsworn will paint the walls of Markarth in their blood. So is everybody in here a Forsworn? Uh, until next time. Is like literally everybody in here a Forsworn? Because, oh my god. Right, let's turn that one off for now. We're looking at trying to get past Borkle the Beast, I guess. And we need to talk to Grisvar about a shit. How old is my daughter now, I wonder? In prison, you lose track of time. Yeah, I could see that. You know, I have no perception of day down here. It's always the same lighting. Uh, hey there, you must the be new Borkle. Meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Uh, I'm not a murderer. Liar. Uh, so what are you in for? Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. Lollygagging? Really? That's a crime? How long have you been here? Guards brought me in about 12 years ago. Was running a good group of bandits up until then. Ah. But these Forsworn, they're nothing like the men I cobbled together. They're real killers. I see. So you joined up fast, quick, and in a hurry. Okay. So how? I I need to talk to Madinok. Uh, so is there any way that I can I can do that? You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one. Oh, you want to shift nice too? To have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> um, 
All right, I, I don't have a shiv. Then find one. That dung heap Grisvar's been known to make a few. Grisvar, again. Okay. Okay. We'll talk to Grisvar, I guess. Um. Silver ore. Get a pickaxe here. Might be useful. Um. Hi there. Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. How long have you been here? Year seven, I think. Surprised I haven't cut my own throat out by now. But something keeps me going. So what'd you do? I'm a Forsworn. One of our raids went bad and I got captured. Oh. Would have been fine dying for the Reach with my kinsmen. But the Silver Bloods want their ore mine, so they threw me in here. Oh, jeez. Until next time. That does sound kind of awful. And you're the only person down this hallway. It's an awfully short hallway. Okay, um... Then I guess we'll check the other side. He was clearly not the guy we're looking for. Um, ah, Krizvar. Hi there. Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Forsworn. What? What's your crime? The first time, thieving. The second time, thieving. The third time, thieving. Oh. It kind of keeps going like that. I mean, that is kind of how jail works. The more times you commit a crime, the longer your sentence gets. So how long you been in here? First it was six months. Then a year. Then two years. Now I'm in for life. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Listen, I need a, a shiv, do you, and everybody seems to think you have extras. Ah, you want protection? I mean, it could I can hurt. get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma, finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just oh. thinking about it. Right, I just I just talked to him. Sure, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. I'll have that shiv ready for you. How exactly do you make your shivs? Uh -huh. And out of what? Terror was sent here because pickaxes? someone said I was a forsworn. I got locked up one too many times. Now I'm in for I'm life. I'm innocent. The Nords framed me. Uh, odd, then? I was nowhere near that murder weapon. I wonder how Grandma Bethella is doing. She's probably worried sick about me. What's your story? A couple of years. I wasn't a forsworn when here? I came, but I joined up when I got in. Easier that way. So yeah, everybody in here is a Forsworn. What'd you do? Uh, wh what'd Guards you do? Guards say I murdered someone. I was just sleeping off some meat in my aunt's house. That didn't stop them from arresting me. I don't even know who they said I killed. Ah. All right then. Sounds to me like this city has a lot of corruption. With the How much further down does this go? Those oh. fools are actually fighting. What? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey! Please, someone do something! Whoa! I don't have any weapons! I'm getting out of someone here. What's going on? Hey, what are you Never doing? Why are you attacking me? I don't have any reason to be here and bothering you wait no sign of <laughs> oh god oh god my day just keeps getting better and better i'm just not cut out for this guys And I just don't know what to do about it.